Let's go over to Studio A. Ken Rice is manning the ship tonight. What's up at 11 o'clock, Ken? Hey, Bob, a scare for people in Rouse River Township. They were on lockdown in their homes for almost eight hours today. We're going to show you what was going on there. Plus, it's been a year since the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade, how that's impacting one local clinic. And smoke from the Canadian wildfires has us looking at another code red air quality action day tomorrow. Meteorologist Kristen Emery will tell us how soon we can expect some relief all ahead in minutes on KDK News at 11. Bob. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Chris, they have sort of a code red going on in the NFL right now. Roger Goodell is going to hand out more suspensions because of gambling. Here they are, a major sport in bed with just about every <laughs> major casino or uh, app that you can have when it comes to betting because there's too much money to ignore. And now these players have got to be very mindful of what's going on, especially even if they don't bet on football, where they place a bet. What do you think about that? All right, I think quickly that the NFL is hypocritical. We all know that. They'll take the money, but then they'll police their own. I think that the rule about not betting at team facilities is absurd. Like, if you bet at a fast food joint across <laughs> the street, you're safe. If you do it over the threshold, you're suspended. But I, I think three now, players have seen enough high-profile stuff happen. No excuses anymore. Make nope. it easy. Don't bet on football. Don't bring your phone that has the gambling app to the team facility. Nope. I think... By the way, Calvin Ridley's going to have a big year for Jacksonville. He's back after one year's suspension. Chris, yes, thank is. you. We are done tonight. Appreciate it. We'll do it again tomorrow night. We invite you to join us right here every night at 1035. Good night.